this video I'm going to walk you through using the script on my blog for creating cascading dropdowns uh, in SharePoint 2013, 2016, and Office 365 uh, for the classic forms. The first thing you'll need to do is go to the GitHub repository uh, linked in my blog and in the description of the video below where you can download the JavaScript files uh, locally and then upload them to SharePoint. Uh, you'll see here the two main files are hillbillycascade.js and hillbillycascade.cewp. So download these files. Uh, here I have them already downloaded. And I'm going to upload these to the site assets directory of my SharePoint site. So over here in Office 365, in my site assets directory, I am going to just simply drag and drop these files to upload them. Okay, so we now have those files um, in our site assets. Um, the next thing we have is the lists that are going to be used for the cascade dropdown. Uh, I'm keeping this very simple for this example. We have a list called states where the title field is just some different states. Right now we just have Arkansas, Alabama, Texas, and Ohio. I then have a list called counties. And within this list, we have the name of the county and then a lookup field to the state for that county. So we have all of the, so when you specify a county, you specify which state is that county from. Finally, we have a list called cities. And in the cities list, we have uh, a list of the city and then the county for which that city belongs to. So on our form, a user would select a state and then it would show all the counties for that state. Then they would select a county and it would show all the cities uh, for that county. So you could set this structure up any way you wanted. I wanted something that hopefully most people could grasp um, the, what, what we're trying to, to get there. I then have a list called Cascade. And if we look at the list settings for this list, you can see that we have a state field, which is a lookup field to the state list, a county field, which is a lookup to the counties list, and a city field, which is a lookup to the cities list. Okay? So get that set up in your system if you want to follow along with exactly how I have the script implemented. And then what we need to do is put our script onto our forms in SharePoint and then modify the script as needed for the field names. So let's go to the new item form for our list called Cascade. So we're going to Cascade. We're going to go to the List tab up here. Again, this is in Classic mode, so you want to switch into Classic mode uh, to use these forms anyway since we're modifying the Classic forms. Uh, go into our Form Web Parts and we're going to choose Default New Form. This opens up our default new form and you can see here it lists all of the states, all of the counties regardless of the state, and then all of the cities in our list. So when you choose something, you know, it's, it's not going to have that uh, relationship that we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this page. I'm going to add a web part to this page. And I am going to add a media and content, content editor web part. And I'm going to edit this web part. And I'm going to point it to that file that we uploaded to our site assets library. So that was in site assets and we want to point it to the CEWP file. So that was called hillbilly cascade cewp.js and now we will apply that and we will stop editing. So now when we go to create a new item on this list we'll see that the state show all the states but you notice that no counties lists are listed and no cities are listed and it also shows us the text select a county and select a city. So now when I select a state it reloads the county fields with just the counties for Arkansas. The city fields are still blank and I select a, a, a county. So I'll select Washington County and now it shows the cities for Washington County. So now we're, incre uh, we're forcing that uh, relationship for those cascading drop downs. Plus, if I now change this to a different state, Ohio, it clears both fields, not just the county field, because if you change the state, you'd also want to clear the city of anything that was selected before. So we can choose Hamilton, Ohio, Cincinnati as the city. 
and then we can go ahead and save this and if we go and look at this in the edit form you can see that it shows in the edit form but again it's showing all of the options for the drop down and we don't want to do that we want to enforce the cascade on the edit form as well so we can do the same thing we can uh, edit this page add a web part to this page and we can add a media and content content editor web part edit this web part and point it to the file in our site assets library and apply that so now when we edit an item we will see that same cascading list relationship so it's only showing us the counties for Ohio and it's only showing us the cities that we have in our list for the county of Ohio so now you get the same functionality on that edit form and it, it maintains those values so if I change the state to Arkansas you can again see it clears those other fields select Boone select Harrison so you can see it works on the edit form as well alright so that's how you implement the script so let's take a quick look at the script itself so you can see how um, I made it work so I'm going to go into the site assets library and I'm going to open up that hillbilly cascade cewp.js file by looking at this file we can see where we're referencing jQuery to load J's, jQuery we're also referencing that hillbilly cascade.js file and that's kind of the main uh, file that does all of the lookups and sets the fields for us so you unless you need to change that functionality for anything you don't have to worry about the code or look at it just reference that file uh, the important thing you need to do is you need to set up um, a new object for every field that needs to be a cascade field so you can see in this code uh, we have two entries in this cascade array right we've got one that has the fields needed to create the cascade for the county where we specify what is my parent field what's the list that the counties come from which field in that county's list has the name of the county what is the name of the field on the form for county and then what is the name of the field in the county's list that has the name of the state and then there's also this new feature in this latest script where you specify what do you want the text to be in the drop down box for when nothing's selected so we create that for the county and we put that in the array and since we want to do multiple cascades I create another entry for the cities so it tells this is the configuration to say how do I know which cities to load and we're telling it to go based on the cities list look at the county field in the cities list and um, that is how we will do the lookup for the cities field once you build all of these objects and put them into the array you execute this hillbilly cascade function where you pass in your array of objects so if you only want one cascade you could delete just this one and, and just modify this one object if you needed to have an additional level you could easily just go ahead and copy and paste this and update it for whatever that other cascade should be update the file inside assets refresh your page and it'll work it is very important when using this script that you make sure you use internal field names where, where appropriate the display names were appropriate and the uh, correct list names um, or the script won't execute properly all right so that's all there is to it um, take a look and uh, good luck thanks Thank you.